Good day everyone. Well, if your second monitor is not getting detected in Windows 11, I'll tell you some very effective steps and you will be able to fix it on your own. So the very first thing here is to check the monitor cable. If you have connected through HDMI or DP, make sure it is properly connected or try in a different port. The next, the second thing is to GPU wake. So you need to refresh the driver, the graphics driver. So to do that, you need to press the Windows key, then Control, Shift, B, all these together. I know it is a little tough. However, once you press these keys, your Windows get refreshed. I'll show you how we can do that. I'll press Window, Control, Shift, and B. The moment I do it, you see you heard a sound and there was a click. So it was actually refreshed. Now the next thing, the third step is to check the project mode. I'll show you. So you need to press the window key and P together. And here you will find what exactly you want. You want to duplicate, you want to extend, or you want the second screen only. Try this and see if that works for you. All right. And if that doesn't, then we will move to the next step. And that is the do the right click and then go to display settings. And scale and layout, there is one option called multiple displays. Choose and select detect the display. Once you do that, press window and P again. Oh, sorry the refresh one and once it is done see if that works for you all right and if still you have issues then we will move to the next step and that is to check the device manager drivers so to do a right click do a right click in the start icon then go to device manager and here we will find monitors so it is an integrated monitor, but if you have connected, there will be a different PNP monitor. You just need to click on that or update driver and search automatically for the drivers. All right. One thing you can do is to go to the action and you can also click on scan for hardware changes. So it will scan and if there is driver remaining for any hardware, that will be done. And the final step is to install the Windows updates and also check the optional updates. I'll show you how we can do that. So do a right click, go to settings, go to Windows updates. And here we will go to advanced options. And here we have this optional updates, feature quality and driver updates see if you have any driver update pending if you have it check that and click on download and install all right so this will and once this is done don't forget to restart the computer okay so do let me know in the comment section which tip has worked for you which step has worked for you so that it help others as well and i'll be glad if you leave a comment and don't forget to hit the like and subscribe if it's helpful i'll see you in the next video have a wonderful day take care